Despite recent advancements in multimodal object exploration utilizing visual and haptic sensory data, the effects of gripper embodiment, action parameters, and sensory channels remain systematically understudied. To address this, we employed two anthropomorphic hands and two two-finger grippers to perform grasps in different gripper configurations on two sets of deformable objects, one of which is nearly indistinguishable by human touch. In total, we collected over 24,000 measurements. The resulting dataset is publicly available. We selected two pairs of gripping devices, with varying anthropomorphism. The first includes the QB soft hand, controlled by a single motor, and the Barrett hand with tactile sensors. The second pair consists of two industrial parallel jaw grippers. The anthropomorphic hands enable diverse grasping configurations. The first test set included nine objects with varying sizes and deformability. The second set comprised of 20 polyurethane foam blocks, all similar in size, but differing in elasticity and density. On the object set, the Barrett hand and robotic 2F85 achieved nearly 100% accuracy. In contrast, the QB soft hand performed comparatively worse. We attribute this to its actuation mechanism, where the fingers passively conform to the shape of objects, making it suitable for grasping but less effective for discrimination. On the challenging foam set, the performance of the industrial-like jaw grippers was similar with both being outperformed by the Barrett hand, which achieved over 95% accuracy. For the parallel jaw grippers, the position channel alone delivers strong performance, suggesting that sometimes a single sensory channel is sufficient for discrimination. On the Barrett hand, tactile sensors are particularly notable, nearly matching the performance of all sensors combined on the challenging foam set. Additionally, faster compression speeds tend to degrade classification accuracy. To identify the dominant sources of variability in the sensory data, the gripper used, its action parameters, or the object grasped, we developed an interactive tool that allows users to explore various sensor and action configurations and visualize them using PCA or TSNE. Overall, the morphology or embodiment of the devices is the primary source of variability. This puts in question the feasibility of learning or generalizing across different robot embodiments. For every gripper individually, the first principal component was primarily influenced by action parameters such as compression speed or grasping configuration, while the second component was linked to object characteristics like stiffness or volume. The datasets and interactive tools we've developed are available online for further exploration and research. Thank you for your attention.